Here's a few things I did to transform my thin hair into thick hair as well as possible. Today I'm going to show you guys a routine that will make your hair hair. You can actually start with this long and the barbers will never get to do it. So let's try it out. Let's review the floor. It's safe to say I've made my fair share of videos about hair. If you've seen any of my TikToks, you would know that. So here's four things you can do to completely transform your hair, and here's what I did. These are very solid methods, and each one of them I've used, and it's completely 100% contributed to everything that I've done. Now, before I get into the video, I will tell you guys, every video I make is about self-improvement. When you subscribe or like the video or watch it all the way through, it helps me significantly. And if you want to be notified for all of my videos, make sure you turn on post notifications. It's that little bell icon next to the subscribe button, and it will help me significantly grow this channel and spread more positivity and self-improvement throughout the entire youth but yeah let's get into the video here's the four things that you can do to completely transform your hair so if i'm being completely honest with you guys i had to do some research and i watched a lot of videos before i made this video and the first and most simple easy thing you can do to transform your hair is buy a hair product but first you need to know what hair product is going to work for your hair type if i'm being totally honest with you guys i really don't feel like editing a lot so we're doing this the og fashion i'm holding my phone in my hand now before i really get into the products that you should get you need to understand that each hair type is going to require different hair products the more straight your hair is the more oil it has meaning that you don't want to have oily products whatsoever you actually want very minimal oil and then curlier hair is going to need the oil because it lacks it it lacks it it doesn't contain the right amount you guys get what i'm trying to say right anyway we're going to start with straight hair and then get curlier and curlier based on the hair products you're saying so like i'm going to recommend all the products for straight hair which is what i started with and then i'm going to go to curly what's called coily Anyway, what I'm about to show you is all the products I recommend and it's so convenient because I have them all located in one place. The link in the description of all my videos just so happens to take you to this. You press open anyway. And then look, it takes you to all the products I have. Here's some of the products I'm going to recommend, but first I'm going to go here. This is my Amazon storefront. And look how easy it is right here. You click on hair care, and these are all the products I'm going to talk about in this video, except for a few. So first, like I said, I was going to talk about straight hair. So here are the two best products for straight hair that I highly recommend. Coming in at number one is Salt Spray. This is my own brand, and this is why I said there's other products other than the Amazon storefront. If you click this link in my description, you'll see the thing that says my sea salt spray. This will take you to my website with all my hair products. And look at this. We have two different ones, highlighting salt spray and the regular salt spray. I'll talk about this one later. But anyway, to get to the point, salt spray adds texture like I was talking about earlier. I'll actually throw up a video on the screen right here. Anyway, it adds the texture that I was talking about earlier. That is exactly what you want for straight hair. Now, I'm not greedy, so if you look at my Amazon storefront, you'll be able to find a different brand salt spray. This one is actually $28. Mine is only $19.99 and it has all natural ingredients made at home. I'm telling you right now, it's significantly better than pretty much all the other brands. I'll actually add some to my hair right now just to show you guys how well it really works for straight hair. Because right now, my hair isn't fully textured even though I have the perm. After adding this to my hair, you guys can see how much texture it really added. And you could probably imagine how good this would be for straight hair. But for now, let's stop talking about my products. Let's go to the next one. Watch this. This me swear, swear, put So what you just saw in that video was hair texturizing powder. I've put this one in my Amazon storefront, but let me talk about the video you just saw. So you see how straight it is in this. Now this video is actually a little bit misleading. So the average person isn't going to be able to see this, but this guy's hair is actually a little bit wavy. It's not completely straight like they tried to portray in this video. They literally brushed his hair out. Then once they added the product, you can see how much more like it's literally curly at that point. Now, it will add a lot of texture to your hair, but I personally think that salt spray is just the better product. Don't expect results like you saw in that guy's video, but you will have pretty good results using this product. Now, what I just showed you is going to work really well for straight and wavy hair, but if you have curly hair or wavy-ish curly hair, you want to get a product like this. This is a curl-defining cream, and it'll make your curls pop more than anything else. The only thing, in my opinion, that would compare to a curl cream like that is my curl spray, which I made specifically for curly hair or coily hair. So you can get either one of these. This one's $19.99. That one is $36. So it's really up to you guys. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the thinning of hair or just having thin hair in general. What you need to do as step number two is actually thicken your hair. A lot of guys experience male pattern baldness. So this will completely recover that. But if you started off with thin hair, this will also help with that. You need your hair to be a lot thicker to actually see texture, volume, shape, or any desirable traits for your hair overall. 
Now, instead of doing a boring explanation of how to make your hair thicker, I'm just gonna show you one of my TikToks, which goes over basically everything. This is the video, let's click on and watch it. I saved my hair from balding, and if you look, my hair is extremely thick right now. I have a good hairline. This is what my hairline looked like before I started doing this. It genuinely was showing signs of like thinning really bad. 85% of men experience permanent hair loss, so pretty much everyone watching this. The first thing I recommend I actually brought with me to this beach trip is 5% minoxidil. You put this on your scalp every day and it's relatively cheap. And it basically stimulates your hair follicle. I mean, if you guys saw that picture, my hair was a lot thinner at the base, but now it's not anymore. So basically what you do is you take this dripper, it gets one milliliter and you drip it onto your scalp. And you just do this every day. It's the same as like brushing your teeth. So after you put it in, you just rub it in. And then you do that every day, like I said. This is in my Amazon storefront if you want it. That's like a six month supply and it was kind of hard to find. But if you click the link in my bio, you can find it. But I don't really care where you guys get it. It's pretty much gonna do the same thing. This was just the cheapest one. And the next thing is a derma stamp. This has little tiny blades that poke holes in your scalp and stimulates the follicle. Oh, and let me not forget to mention, as a last resort, you can take finasteride. This is gonna block DHT, which is the hormone that causes you to go bold, but it's gonna mess with your hormones, so I don't recommend this unless you absolutely need it. So that video pretty much explains everything I had to say when it comes to thickening your hair, but there is a little more that I have to add. The derma stamp, this right here, should be your first ditch resort, pretty much. This is gonna thicken your hair naturally, leave permanent results, and all you gotta do is poke tiny little holes in your scalp which sounds bad but i promise it's really not that bad you can adjust the length of the blade to do whatever you're comfortable with which you wouldn't be able to do with a derma roller like this the second thing you should do if the derma stamp alone doesn't work is minoxidil you want to combine these together so use the derma stamp and apply minoxidil you apply this every day and it basically stimulates the hair follicle making new hair grow and this is the last ditch resort it's basically foolproof but the issue is it affects your hormones like i said in my tiktok but if you combine this product, this one, and this one, you're basically guaranteed to not go bold. If you just have thin hair in general, you can use this and minoxidil, but also apply a hair serum like one of these. This isn't gonna prevent you from balding, but it'll make your hair thicker. So if you just want healthier hair in general, these are the products that I actually recommend. Let's move on to the third thing, which is using heat on your hair. Basically using heat on your hair, you can make it look however you want. You can make it curly, wavy, any texture, but the main issue is it damages your hair from one, but also your hair is gonna go back to normal as soon as you get it wet or you're in any sort of humid conditions. I will show you what I recommend for using heat on your hair though. I actually looked myself up and I found a perfect example of what heat can do for your hair. So this is me with straight hair. I still had that same hair texture in this picture, but I used a flattening iron. Another picture right here won't focus. This is me using a flattening iron on my hair and as you can see it added a ton of texture and volume anyway there's only two products i have to recommend if you're going to use heat on your hair and one of them is a flattening iron like i just said that's what i use to get those results and the next thing i recommend is a hair dryer slash diffuser this is like a regular hair blow dryer but if you add this attachment what it does is dries your hair without really doing anything to it like the wind doesn't really affect your hair when you attach this little thing right here now in this picture right here i actually have a perm but i'll get into that later in this video when i still had straight hair like i said i used this technique and i got it so like that that one right there all you do is take a flattening iron on a hot setting and flip your hair up and then add some salt spray to texturize it now last but certainly not least if you want to transform your hair what i recommend doing is getting a perm that's what i do to my hair right now and i don't have to use the flattening iron anymore thank god all i use is the salt spray and sometimes i use the curl spray i've made a whole tiktok on the difference between the salt spray and curl spray's effect on the perm i'll actually put it up on the screen so you guys can watch that i'm just showing you what how different products can literally give you completely different hairstyles so we're gonna use the salt spray on this side of my hair right now let's give it a shake and then spray a few sprays right here you guys see how straight it is and you see the water sitting there watch what happens when i like run it through my hair and scrunch it up now look at this completely straight right here with the salt spray it's all wavy i have like the tiktok hairstyle that everybody likes you know now watch this because this is even better you guys see how straight this is let's add the curl spray to that right now hold on i'm gonna take off the top but anyway look just a few sprays and then you guys are gonna see you can see the water particles sitting there now i'm just gonna scrunch up my hair and you're gonna see the magic happen right before your eyes now you guys can see the curls versus the waves. You get to choose your exact hairstyle at any day. Today, I'm feeling wavy, so I'm gonna use the salt spray. Just remember, for curly hair, you want more moisture. And for wavy, you want something that's gonna texturize it. But if you got the perm, you get to pick wavy 
curly, straight, it's all up to you. But anyway, the perm is what I recommend the most, especially if you have straight hair. But even if you have wavy or curly hair, you can still get a perm. I've made an entire YouTube video on this, so literally just go watch that. I'm not gonna go into depth on what I did to get the perm, because like I just said, I have an entire video explaining step-by-step -step what you need to do. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I completely transform my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure, like I said, subscribe, drop a like, watch these videos all the way through, just so you don't miss any details. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, literally everything that I talk about is linked in the description of this video and I want to help you guys in every form of self-improvement that I can.